Hi everybody, it's Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy, and tonight we're going to continue on with my little series on angles, right? Now, during the last few weeks we talked a little bit about ball dimensions, which actually is a little bit advanced. Then we did some basic trig. Well, tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, setting up and measuring basic angles, right? Uh, setting them up on your machine, how to do it, how to check them when they're done, and the basic tools that uh, I use to, to do that, all right? So, uh, as I mentioned before in one of my videos, that uh, the ability to work with angles accurately and not just take a guess if I'm right or wrong, all right? Uh, believe me, those, those lines on your tilt plate aren't perfect, all right? So we need to know how to check things and set things up so they're perfect. So I'm going to show you how to do that tonight, and uh, I'll check back in when I'm finished here. All right, well, the gold standard for setting up and checking angles um, is, the, is the sign bar, all right? This is a 3-inch sign bar, this is a 5-inch sign bar, and this is a 10-inch sign bar. Now, what constitutes the length, what I just said, 3, 5, and 10, is the distance between the tangent points of the diameters, all right? So the center line, I should have said center line, even though this is kind of a tangent point. Center line, center line, center line. So the distance between this center line and this center line, let's be professional here, here and here is three inches, here, here, five inches, and here and here, ten inches. Now, here's a really important point for you guys. These are for setting up on top of your part to check your setup and, and make your setup or check an angle on this machine, not to put under your piece in a vise, all right? The reality is, unless it's a very slight angle, your vise is going to uh, not have any room to grab the part anyways. But you can't put these under a piece and tap down on the piece. The, 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 uh, the sign bar is going to move. It's, it's not the way to do it. So what do I mean by that? Well, several options here. Now let's say you need to set up a 10 degree angle on a part. And it'll fit in your Kurt vise or your Bridgeport vise or whatever. How are we going to do that? Well. We want to tip the piece up at 10 degrees. Well, there's a couple quick ways we can do that. Um, you know, we can eyeball it up first, get it close, all right? And then uh, here's a quick way, if you're lucky enough to have one of these. I've got these uh, 1 degree to 30 degrees. You can just indicate that in quickly, all right? And you know, just keep tipping your piece back and forth. Make sure this is, you would put this on, uh, against your piece with a magnet behind it and just keep checking it back and forth until your piece is tipped right. Well, you're saying, well, Phil, there's, there's nothing under my block. It's going to move. No, it's not. And here's why it's not going to move. If you're using a good vise and you take light cuts, all right, this will get your setup done right if you put this on top of the block. And believe me, I machine stuff all the time, light cuts with nothing under it. I get the angle right by setting this on top of the part. Now, for bigger pieces, I might set the 3-inch sign bar on top of the part. I might set the 5 inch, and for really huge pieces, the 12 inch. Now, it's like, well, Phil, your part's a foot long. Why don't you just use the 3 inches? That's easier to do. Well, the, the issue is, I'm going to calculate that, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna, what to put under here to get the 10 degrees correct, the 10 degrees correct, the 10 degrees correct, all right? But the bigger the part, the bigger the bar you want to use, all right? Uh, let's say, for example, I'm going to machine a piece in my Kurt Vice tomorrow that uh, is 12 inches uh, long, and and I got to take a cut along the 12 inches. You know, I've indicated the Kurt Vice at over six inches; it's good. But you know what? If I put a 12-inch bar in there and measure it, it might be off a thou or two. So the longer the angle, the bigger sign bar you should use. Now I can tell you, in my lifetime, I've never seen a bigger one than this. I made this uh, because of the size of work I was doing uh, back in the 80s. Uh, I would stay after work and literally engrave my name in it on a pantograph. I made this one, engraved my name in it somewhere on a pantograph. And uh, this is my Uncle Mike's. He gave it to me when he retired. So, these do not go under your piece. All right. Now you're saying, well, Phil, uh, I, I, I've got several parts to do. Well, there's a couple options here. Again, these are all just for checking and inspection and setup. 
Now, I made these, again, 40 years ago, and I just brought this one. Let's just use 10 degrees as an example. This is really fun. Uh, this is 10 degrees with a 10 degree angle on it, all right? Uh, this is 90 degrees. So when I set up a piece here, I get a repeatability here. It can't slide down this block as I'm tapping on it, all right? Changing everything. If I want to mill something or grind something, I'll use these a lot, and that's for small parts, but at least it's, it's got a, a stop. And even if this thing moves a little bit in the vise, all right, the plane never changes because it's up against here. All right, this Z plane coming down on the angle never changes because we're just, as long as you keep it up against the stop, moving back and forth, all right? So these are incredibly handy. But uh, now, finally, um, I do have several blocks at work that I've made for production jobs that uh, uh, it's worth it to spend an hour and a half or so making a big block just like this to hold a bigger part when I've got 20, 30 parts to do and I keep seem to be getting these parts every six months. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that. But um, the last thing you need to know is how to set up a sign bar. Well, basically it's pretty simple. Uh, this is a three inch sign bar. And again, that's the distance between the diameters. Or this is a five inch sign bar. That's the distance between the diameters. And again, this is a 10 inch sign bar, distance between the diameters, all right? So the simple formula is, if you're setting up a 10 degree angle, which is, that's kind of what we're working with tonight, 10 degrees, basically you take the sine of 10 degrees times the distance. And that'll give you the, 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 the amount of gauge blocks to put under your sign bar. In this example, I'm going to use this sign bar, a five de uh, inch sign bar at 10 degrees. And I don't even have to look it up because I think it's stamped on here. Maybe it's not, it's not. So you calculate it, let me do it right now. All right, on live TV, uh, live TV, that's very funny. Um, let's see, 10 degrees, sign times five, 868. Well, I used to do so many angles as a mold maker. I made my own gauge blocks up for certain angles. So that's what that would look like. That's 10 degrees. Make sense? Or for those of you mortals that don't have pre-made gauge blocks like the tool and die guy, because that's why I am the tool and die guy, you would just bring up gauge blocks at 868. And to be precise, 0.8682. All right. So uh, that's what you would do. And that's precisely 10 degrees. And we can double check it just for fun. If we, whoop, Go like that. Is that right? Yep. There you go. It's 10 degrees. That's flat. So there's your uh, little sign bar lesson. These are not used to put under your piece. There are several options to put under your piece, like sign plates, magnetic sign uh, plates for the grinder, um, tipping your vise up at an angle. Uh, but uh, these three things are for setup and inspection. This one, you can put stuff on uh, on top of it and pound it down a little bit, tap it down, pound it down. <laughs> Sometimes I surprise myself. And again, this is another inspection tool. Hope that helps. So that's it from here. Um, covered a lot there. If you have any questions, please politely list them underneath here. If you uh, have a different opinion than me, I'm uh, more than happy to hear it. Just be polite. Uh, but this, I always, as I always say, this is the way I do it. And i uh, been doing it for 46, 47 years now. It's worked out pretty well for me, uh, tried and true. But if I'm missing something, uh, I don't have a problem with learning something new, as you don't. So we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.